Happy Friday, everybody. It is Friday, right? Yeah, the 11th. It's been one of those weeks. Um, been been pretty good, actually. Got a. I've been trying to set a goal as a, as a, a getting about 10 miles of running in, or at least walking running combinations um, per week, and I got over 10 yesterday. Um, but looking over the past weeks that I've had, gotten quite high, and that was because we've been doing walks after work. Um, as soon as we get home, but haven't been really able to do that because it's been just so brutally hot the last couple of weeks, um, and so like even the sun right now is still orange. You can see it's orange. It's not supposed to be like that. And these uh, the smoke from the BC wildfires has been it's been brutal, you know, and it, which makes the heat just even more hot. You know, it just adds humidity to everything. It locks the heat in. Um, so it's been. It's been a hot couple of weeks, um, but managed to get some sleep last night. Uh, so for the Mariners, one of the uh, toughest games to kind of handle yesterday as a fan, you get mediocre, you get pretty much no offense for seven innings. And you get eighth inning, they come back, two shots, you get Segura hits one, you get Cano gets on, and Cruz hits a two-run shot to tie it in the eighth. Then... You stick in Edwin Diaz in a no tot and a no save situation, and he gives up a he gives up a you know bases clearing double to arguably one of the best players in baseball today. And then before all this happens, you take the one pitcher that you have uh, that you can pretty much depend on to go out there and give you a quality start every time, and he leaves with a pectoral injury. James Paxson. So it's just been, I mean, now we have the original rotation for the beginning of the season. Um, nobody is left in that rotation. They're all on the injured injured list. And so you now we have five guys out there that, you know, know, it's been, a, it's been one of the most unbelievable seasons as a Mariner fan. It's like one injury after the other, but we're still in the hunt, which is weird. Um, I don't really have much else to add. Um, I want to try to hike this weekend, but with the this, this haze that's just been the smoke that's been surrounding us for the last two weeks, it's you're not going to get any views. Um, and the air quality hasn't been the greatest either. So, uh, not sure if I'll be able to get a hike in this weekend or not. Uh, but we are going to Edgar Martinez retirement uh, tomorrow night. That'd be an awesome thing. Uh, you know, a year ago today we we're well almost an exact year ago, I was at the Griffey um, ceremony, because I was at, I was actually at the Baseball Hall of Fame for his induction ceremony, which was really cool, um, I mean, once in a lifetime opportunity to go out to the Hall of Fame in New York, Cooperstown, and walk around that city, and then walk through the Hall of Fame as a member, <laughs> and get to see everything that's in there, and it's just like, I want to go back so bad, because you know, it's just, uh, there's so much baseball history in, in the Hall of Fame. It's, it's uh, all these things that, you know, you remember hearing about and reading about. And then it's just all those, the old artifacts. It kind of, it throws you back to a, a time in you know, American history where baseball was pure. And it was everything. Baseball kept this country together, you know. And... And it was just such a, it was such an awesome feeling to, to experience that and to sit out in 90 degree weather and 100% humidity in New York and sweat my, you know, what off to watch Griffey get inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. And then I didn't get a chance to see his uh, plaque until they brought it out to Seattle uh, for a visit. And so I got to finally see it then, but I haven't seen it enshrined in the Hall of Fame yet because after the ceremony, they kind of... You know, it takes like a few hours, and then the line just to get into that is was ridiculous. And so, you know, it was a long day as it was, and we just didn't want to stick around for it. Uh, but we ended up did seeing, we ended up seeing it eventually uh, in Seattle. So, um, I do plan to make at least another one more trip out to Cooperstown. That'd be, that'd be the ideal thing. I think I want to go out there for Ichiro because he will go in as a Mariner. Um, uh, I think that's, I don't think, I don't know if Felix has what it takes to get into the Hall of Fame. I really don't. He was a dominant pitcher, but 
he doesn't have the wins. Um, he might have the strikeouts, but um, I just don't. I don't know if uh, if he's a first ballot Hall of Famer or not. Uh, that's about it for today. I mean, I'm kind of drawing a blank here, trying to make this last more than five minutes, which I just did. So. Anyway, you guys have a great weekend. If I do get a hike in, maybe I'll make a little post about that um, uh, before the hike. So it'll be an early one. So I'm going to beat this heat. You guys have a great weekend. Uh, hope you had a great week. And I uh, will see you guys probably on Monday. See you there.